I've just had my shower replaced because it was brokey. Hee hee, you know. Ready at work, tearing it down and figuring out how it works. It's quite an ingenious system actually, I might make a video about it. It's ingenious. Thanks for watching. Uh, I reckon one minute's enough time to explain how this works. So what we have is this goes in here like this and mounts to this tube here. Seems to be some sort of pressurizational thing because it's got some sort of diaphragm on it. And on it is a knob which goes round and here's the main part of it. And this will contact either one or two switches or no switches. So no switches will leave the heating element off so thus you get cold. One switch will energise one heat ele element because you've got one there and one there. And the other switch will give you warm, and the both switches energised will give you both the heating elements on, which will give you hot. And then you can adjust the temperature of the water with this pot, which essentially allows certain pressures of the mains water supply into this uh, tank thing, which has the heating element, and as you can see it's exploded out the front and it was soaked. And of course you've got heat cut off switches and whatnot on the top and of course you've got two neon lights to play with yay make more geiger counters and of course when you hit the on and off switch which is now floating over here but did originally go there that will energize this solenoid which will then allow the water pressure through and then depending on your setting on the big knob will depend on it and let's show you it all set out properly in a Assembled working configuration. Here it is. Our on and off switch. Our power and auto reset. That will be triggered by the uh, temp sensor. This is the knob which will trigger either one, one switch energised, both switches energised, and no switches energised. And then of course we've got our knob which allows the pressure of the water up into the main system. And of course our power button. And...